Welcome to the Harris Academy Wimbledon Student Bulletin. Hello everyone, Mr James here. Welcome to this week's Howie House League. It is the 26th of June. I'm at, as you can see, I'm outside in the garden because it's such a hot, beautiful, sunny day. I'm also in my beach gear, look at this. In fact, I'm so excited about being out in my garden, I thought I'd give you a little quick tour. Just over there are my potatoes, look at that. Looks like they're going to do well. There's my pond. And that's it really, back to me now. Right, okay, great. So, as we're celebrating being outside and being outdoors and the, the world around us, uh, I thought it'd be nice to watch a little video that Orion sent in which will get us into a very nice relaxed frame of mind. Okay, so let's watch that. Also, as you will have spotted, there are also some of your entries for the Screen Free Challenge, which was all about spotting invertebrates. So those, I've got loads of entries, we've got loads of entries, that was excellent, so well done for that. I hope you enjoyed doing this week's Screen Free Challenge, which is, all, which is the uh, Street Scrabble Challenge, which is also this week's house competition. So, where are we on the house league? Let's have a look. So, in seventh place, with 301 points this week, breaking into the 300s, it's Dowding. Didn't quite have the same uh, spectacular effort as last week in terms of gaining those points, but still very good. In sixth place, and this week's winners of the effort points competition, so well done to Wilberforce with 350 points. In, in uh, fifth place with 369 points, it's Gibson. In fourth place, it's really hot out here by the way, with 384 points, it's Rutherford. So onto the podium, 399 points, almost nudging the uh, 400s there, and remaining, in fact, really kind of starting to cement that third place, is Morris. Well done to Morris. 447 points keeps Nelson in second place, and still topping the, uh, the, the Harry House League for yet another week with 469 points, due largely to the number of entries for that uh, screen free challenge so well done Butler you really do deserve to, to, to be at the top because you just can't stop entering these competitions it's fantastic well done so speaking of house competitions make sure you get those uh, street scrabble entries in and I will see you next week hopefully back out in the garden Um, so I just got back from one of my runs that I've been doing during lockdown, so let's see where I went for a run.
on Monday you need to log on at 8.45 in the morning and do your online registration. Then you need to go to the sport folder on the virtual learning area. In there you'll find that the first challenge of the day is a sport quiz. You'll take that Kahoot quiz first of all at 9am. When you finish that quiz, you will then spend the day working through a number of different challenges. Every time you submit a challenge, you obviously have received points for your house. And then within that challenge, if you come first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, seventh, you'll also get bonus points for your house. We also then have the other the other daily challenges, which will be if your house, 50% of your house do the, do the activities, you'll get 75 points. Over 70% of your house, you get 100 points. And then per person, if you do 50%, you get, if you sorry, if you do 10 to 15, you will get 25 points. And then if you do more than 15 to 25, then you'll get 50 points for your house. So what you need to do on that day is log on at 8.45, do the online registration, and then enjoy sports day. Do as many challenges as you can. Hello everybody, hope you've had a good week. So this week, Nathan has been working really hard on some of his rap compositions. So enjoy having a listen and congratulations to Nathan for winning this week's Musician of the Week. I took your girl a light dirt, bro. You can't catch me, yeah, you can't even rap. I took your girl a light dirt, bro. You can't catch me, cause you can't even rap. Well, this week I would like you to take a moment to remind yourself of something that I know that you've heard before. When you're speaking to others, offline or online, you always need to think first. Think if what you're saying is true. Think if what you're saying is helpful. Think if what you're saying is inspiring. Think if what you're saying is necessary. And think if what you're saying is kind. If you answer any of these questions with no, please press pause and think before you speak or before you send. Bye, see you next time. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. The word of the week is empathy. Uh, I've been really busy this week. I've been compiling reading lists uh, for those of you who are like me uh, that you find it difficult to decide what to read next. Uh, those reading lists are based around different themes. So for example, you have great reads that will make you laugh, great reads uh, that will most likely make you cry, great reads through times uh, around the world, uh, great scary reads where you find all the creepy ghost stories. Uh, the lists are available from the school's uh, website and the library page. But please uh, send me an email if you've got any questions at any time. Thank you. Hello, I hope you're all well and enjoying the sunshine. This week's birthdays are Year 8, Yusuf and Daniel, Year 7, Chase, Nadi, Jacob and Jessica. We hope you all have a lovely birthday. Have fun. Take care. Bye-bye.